I'm challenging myself to create a SZA or Summer Walker type track in under an hour. Let's see how well I can do. Now, Scouts Honor, I actually started six minutes ago at 5.19, five, five minutes ago, and I came up with this one simple part, but I totally butchered uh, hitting the film button. So here we are. I kind of like that first chord, that G minor. That's hot. Oh, that's interesting. So maybe what we got to do is... Ooh, I like that. That's nice. All right, I might just ditch that for this, for this progression here at the B flat major seven. I feel like I need to find the next two chords of that and that's gonna really unlock it. Cause that would take you from B flat major seven. That's like a G minor nine. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Oh my gosh, that's it. Wow. That is absolutely the progression. All right, we're, we're canning that old idea. That old idea sucked. Yep, there it is. That's the progression. Ooh, very nice. Okay, now we gotta figure out what we're gonna do here with the chords. So I feel like I'm ahead of here. Kind of like the knock. Cool, I'm gonna get rid of that buzzy thing on the top on the sides and then we're gonna be good. So I think it's gonna be super simple. Boom, boom, let's go. Cool, that's gonna give it to that for now. Awesome, let's go ahead, double that out. Oh, it's gonna have like some disgustingly walking, moving bass line. Let's see. Hmm, oof, we are not doing good on time. That tends to be how I feel about all of these as we go through. Yeah, that's the 808. Okay, heck yeah. So we're just gonna try to jam. Got to find that bass line. Mm. That's not, that's not the final chord. Oof, that's not it. There we go, it was the nine. It was the nine. Great, we found it. Okay, something in that vein. We gotta kind of figure it out a little bit, but we're gonna we're, we're gonna figure it out. Dun, 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 dun. Wow, wow, wow. Cool. We're just gonna go with that for now. Moving really fast. Bum ba ba ka. There we go. Add a couple more kick drums. Gonna round out the chord progression. All right, and then we just need like well, we need we need a few things, but we're gonna we're gonna do our best and try to try to make them all happen. Probably one or two or, or both of those. Boom. I just when I know what I want, I'm just gonna grab it and then just place it on the grid and just 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 move on with my life. Cause now I need to kind of find like the shape. Cause obviously that sounds awful. Like excuse me, it does not sound awful. It is not the right fit as it is. Cause it's clearly they took the transient off of it. Whereas like I need something that's gonna pop a little harder, probably like that as a starting point. Let's go ahead and pitch it around. Ooh, yeah, it's kind of hot. Let's go. Let's pull that compression back. Sweet. Let's go ahead and pull out a nice little Valhalla vintage verb. We're going to go to the same thing as before. Ambience tile drill. We're going to make it long. Woo! Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Uh -uh. All right. Let's gear it up. Ooh, I like that sound. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we are vibing just a little bit. We have a nominal amount of vibe accumulating. I'm gonna leave this kind of loose. Maybe just quantize it half. Boom, let's go ahead and just kind of set that up. So we have... It's not the right pitch, but we're gonna fix that. Try minus three. 20 minutes in, we are doing really good. I'm actually really impressed with me. Me and Omar, we're on the same page. I'm pulling back the timing of it. I'm just nudging it back from here. Let's add a little bit of reverb. Ooh. 
Wow, okay, I'm really liking where that's going. That is, it's kind of cool. Let's go. Okay, I thought maybe this would be a terrible idea, but I'm gonna try to use a plugin I've never used before right now. Sounds like truly an awful, awful idea because I know this thing has so many abilities if I like just drop a piece of audio here. All right, let's see what happens. <laughs> oh, it's fun. That's cool, okay. I like that one. That one. Let me try different because it's so much in the same kind of range, that hook. Ooh, okay. We're, we are we are getting into some interesting territory. I, got, I better just record whatever I do. Oh, shoot. Did we just... That was like the coolest thing I've ever done. Okay, let me let me let me try something. Let me try something. All right, let me let me see how I like this. Boom, boom. Just trying to merge all these ideas together into something cool. Nice. Ooh, that's hot. Okay, cool. Let's trim that, and then I'm just gonna get the T out of the one of the sounds here. Yeah, we go. You know, I kind of like how the three up sounds better on their transposing, and then I'll probably actually then just bring it down with Alter Boy afterwards. I, I don't know why, but we're gonna do that. Oh yeah, game over. Holy crap. Wow. Yeah. Just ping pong it. Oh, it's got to be Nathan. That's way too... Okay, and then now let's combine it with the octave up. And I think we're going to be in a really good place. Oh, hold on a second. It's not lengthening the transients. It's not lengthening the, the bits the way that it does when it's an octave down. Oh. Yeah, there we go. There we go. All right, let me distort it a bit. All right, I'm gonna actually just only add the distortion. Oh my gosh. Maybe we don't need the low one. I'm kind of liking it without the low octave. That's interesting. Okay, so that's definitely its own thing. That's super hot. I love, love, love how that feels. I think that's really strong. That's like the melodic hook that we're looking for. Those samples are again from a probably unreleased sample pack by the time this comes out, but a uh, tight go to, you know, look up Splice John McLucas and see if it's out. If not, you know, I got that early access. What can I, I made it. So I, sh I, I should have the, the earliest of access. Um, So I'm gonna see now if I can make a low octave version that I like on its own. Now, let me see. Maybe it's going to end up just being a formant adjustment. Yeah. Okay. That's, that should be fine. Yeah. Then, then it comes in. All right. You can put a little bit of a side chain on that bass. Okay. So now kind of got like an interesting thing going on here. I think what I want to do is find a couple of things. So I'm going to try to actually take some of these samples. Want to have a little bit of something for the B section. This we're just going to put right on the grid. Awesome. We'll turn off the spread. We don't need to, to do that. And then we'll go ahead and toss it in Valhalla here. Let's see what's going on now. There we go. That's a nice little bit of energy right there. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's get a couple of things going on here with sound effects I pulled in. I love that little awe is one of my favorites. Boom. And this was the, I think the biggest, a uh, little bit of cheating is I just went into, <laughs> the, I mean, it, it really took about 45 seconds. So we, we can take 45 seconds off the clock because I already knew where this was. I just needed to, to locate it. So now we just need to make that like 8 million times longer. Boom. It's a little behind in the sample. 
Yeah, there we go. So that's a good riser. It works pretty well, and especially splashing in this reverb. There's a little bit of that washiness down low. I want to get rid of that. There we go. Oh, yeah. Okay, maybe we're going to be super cool. Maybe make that happen on the snare. Yep. All right, we got 12 minutes left. Let's freaking do this. I am getting a little sweaty. These are some homemade samples for a different splice pack that should be up by the time this video comes out and will be in my bio, of course. Um, there is definitely a, I believe it's the goat surrounded by goats sample. I like that I got to name these samples. <laughs> it made it really fun. Ooh, well, I wonder if I just take it. Can I do this? What key am I in again? <laughs> this is not a strong. That's wild that that sounds more correct than, than me putting that on the, on the B flat. Can't question a year. Yeah, there it is. There it is. I had to move with that eighth note. Just get that bad boy feeling good. Okay. All right. We're going to toss some God particle on the mix bus here. Woo! Now, this doesn't always make it to the end of a production, but I do like to put on something that's like I kind of know is like ballparking it. And then I'm going to come back and adjust as the song develops and as it actually becomes part of a track, we find the right key. But I'm not going to get super concerned about that stuff. I do like to just put something on to make sure it's loud when I send it out to an artist. Um, so I'm just going to, I know like it's in the ballpark. Boom. God particle. Don't want to think about it. Just want to get this track out. Feeling good, feeling loud, feeling contained, you know. And then I would take this off and kind of redial it in as we find the key and the final sounds and vocals get in and all that kind of stuff and then readjust it and apply it if it fits the final mix. But with this stuff, we run it and gun it, baby. All right, so I feel like I really want to add um, a little bit more beef. Oof, I don't have much time. Uh, yeah, we got we got five minutes on the clock. Adding a little bit of low end push. I think I need to take the sizzle off from this pad. It's really that that part for me. Yeah. All right. Now, how are we going to start this? Because <laughs> that's kind of the last thing. Well, I think what's cool is then maybe what we'll do is we will. I'm going to just duplicate this and then I'm going to go down an octave. Okay. Okay. We got two, under two minutes left. Go. Oh my gosh. Do it. Ah! Okay. Maybe wait, I got to nail it. I got to nail it right now. gonna have it be there at the end of the phrase just that's it that's all we got nope i hate that that's awful we're gonna leave it here i'm a minute under and i'm gonna call it i think that's it i think that's everything that we need to do today to make a pretty banging track let's give it a last listen and just like enjoy the grind that went into making this happen and rest in peace to that idea that never uh, made it past like minute five let's take a look at the journey see how it turned out And if you want to be a part of this live and actually commenting and interacting as I build it, join the One Song Away community in the description. That's where all the cool stuff happens as well as like monthly challenges and lots of cool stuff. It's just a good place to hang. No paywall, nothing. We get to hang out, have a good time. And that's what I love about it. Please make sure to appease the algorithm gods. It is super, super helpful to me in everything that I do just to spread the word and get it out there. Thanks so much for your time. I'll see you in the next one. Remember, you're just one song away.